Good morning, my family. How y'all doing today? Praise God, we still in the land of the living. My heart's a little heavy this morning. God took my Aunt Hattie home yesterday, and my heart is heavy. My mother-in-law and, and, and Dean and Lottie and all her children and all the family, all the family. So I just thank God for Hattie's life. I thank you for what she meant to me. I'll never forget her voice. I love the way she called my name. I love to hear her voice. She was always so kind to me. She was always so kind and loving to me. And I'm a miss her. And God, I ask that you bless everybody. Every one of Hattie's siblings and children and loved ones. Comfort our hearts, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let us know that you don't make any mistakes and that her life mattered and her life counted and we celebrate her life because she was a loving, kind soul. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Oh, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That would have been really bad. God orders his angels to protect us wherever we go. That would have been a really bad fall. Thank you, God. His word is true, y'all. His word is true. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I praise you, the Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for ordering your angels to protect me. Woo. That would have been a bad fall. But I thank you for Hattie's life. And I thank you for all of my loved ones. You know, it's not always about blood. Hattie was my in-law, my aunt-in-law. But the love, the love don't know nothing about no law. <laughs> the, uh, the love, the love doesn't know anything. How y'all doing? God bless y'all. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Oh, glory to God. And I thank you, God. He gave, gave us another day. And Hattie would want us to live life. Because she lived her life. Yes, she did. I had such a, a happy spirit. A happy spirit. I could just hear her voice right now. I could just hear her voice in my head right now. Oh, thank you for life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You don't make no mistakes. You're a good, good, good Father. And we praise you. And I thank you. The real word says, blessed are they that mourn who mourn, for they will be comforted. You know, I thank you for comforting my loved ones, Father. Thank you for comforting Audrey, Father. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you for comforting all of my loved ones. They know they are. Bless Doug, Father. Comfort his heart. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hey, Charlotte. Wait a minute, kid. Come on. Come on. All right, we got to cross. We got to go this way. Oh, thank you. Hey, Charlotte. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Thank you for clicking my button. Give me your time this day. I love you, girl. Thank you for your support. You're always supporting me and helping me, girl. And I praise God for you. God, I ask you to touch Charlotte from the top. Come on, Keita. Come on, you're going to get us hit. Come on. Come on. Wait a minute. Touch us from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Anything not like you, I ask that you remove it in Jesus' name. Whoa. Why is this dog running so fast? What, what is going on? What is going on? Oh, thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you for blessing Charlotte's day to day. For taking her pain away, Father. Letting her get better with each passing day. Help her to speak life always. And rebuke Satan always. We don't have no pain in our bodies, Charlotte. The devil is a liar. They're just lies from Satan. All we got to do is rebuke them. And they leave. But you got to believe. Just believe, girl. Believe. And every day, you get better and better. Just like he does me. Just like God answers my prayers and heals me and keeps me out of pain. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. 
it's this day going dark. Oh, I need, I need you, Lord. So she can't just run a straight line. She got to go to the left, look over here, go to the right, cross in front of me. I can't see. Well, halfway there, y'all. Half a lap. Half a mile down. Help me, Lord. I got to go give blood today. Oh, Lord, so I try to save. I can save up to three lives by giving blood. So whenever, I, every 56 days when I can, I go ahead and give blood. And as I want somebody to give it to me if I need it. So that's one thing I can do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can't be God given. Can't be him given. But nothing but faith, Charlotte. That's it, my sister. That's it, my sister. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How you doing? I'm doing great. It just does. Don't you chase that car, Nikita. What is it? Nikita, Nikita, really, 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 do you really think you could catch the, catch the car, hmm? Boy, this, this dog is definitely my dog. We think we both got chemical imbalances, man. <laughs> Well, I know she does, because she used to have seizures, and that's neurologic. And maybe bi my bipolar one is neurologic, too. So, we got the right, she's my service animal, and I'm her service animal. Hallelujah. God provides. <laughs> God provides. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. What'd you say, child? That's right. Oh, thank you, baby. I'm saying I'm being a blessing. And I'm trying. I'm trying to do what I can do. You know, we all got things that we, we're good at. Some people, like the Booths, Carlene and Rodney Booth, their, their ministry is, is giving away food and clothes and stuff. That's just their ministry. We all got something that we do that God gives us to do that it makes, and it's easy for us to do that. But then another person might look and say, I don't feel like doing that. Well, I ain't doing that. But that's why God gave us, gave us all minds and, and we are here to help each other. If everybody do what he's called to do, everybody be satisfied. Everybody will have what they need. And you know what you're called to do because it's easy for you. It's easy for you. It's easy for me to talk about the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's easy for me to draw. I went to college for art, but I already had the gift. It was always easy for me to draw anything I see. It's easy for me to dance. I had training, but even before I had training, I could I could get down with the get down. I remember being a little girl dancing to to the song that used to get me going was Sanford and Son song. <laughs> that song. <laughs> I remember being a little girl and then can you hear me? Uh, uh, well, I was just saying that I used to love that song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hum the whole thing. <laughs> but I used to, every time that song came on, I remember I was maybe about five. My mother said I would just get up and just start dancing. That song used to move me. <laughs> Excuse me. Y'all remember that song? Oh, good, you could hear me. <laughs> You probably wish you couldn't hear me when I was singing that, trying to sing that song. <laughs> oh, Lord. Almost done.
That's how you feel, kid. Okay, we gonna finish strong. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Be there at 2 15. <sighs> Charlotte, you gonna get some exercise today, baby? You know, walk around the neighborhood or something? <sighs> Who the oldest, Charlotte? We graduated together. When's your, when your birthday? Mine, April 5th. When yours? You graduated in 84 with, like me. When your birthday? Oh, thanks, baby. Yeah, part of my determination is, is part of that. Just how God made me, man. And, 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 and it can be a negative thing, too. My determination can be just as negative as it is positive. Because <laughs> if I get my mind set on the wrong thing, it still ain't no stopping me. It ain't no stopping me. So I just try to keep my mind stayed on him. And as for his guidance, it's going to lead me every day. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life today. God, my thoughts, my words, and my actions. Oh, it's coming up. February 26th. You Pisces like my grandmama was. All right, February 26th. I got to put that in my calendar. February 26th, Charlotte's birthday. So you, wait a minute. So you older than me, you gonna be 54 or 55? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be 55 in April. <laughs> oh Lord, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I will be. But I thank him I made it to 54. If this is my last day, I thank you, Father. I praise you. I magnify you. You was good to me. Yes, you was. Yes, you was. And I see you on the other side. Because <laughs> with God, with, with good thing about salvation, we'll never, never see death. Our bodies will, but not our spirits. They can live on to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Resting in the bosom of Jesus. Yup, you, you have... You got a twin brother too? I ain't know that. Go ahead, twin. Amazing. How God can put two two or more people, I mean one person growing in a stomach, a sudden with a little two a seed and an egg, and grow in the stomach for eight for nine months without getting breathing any air, and then come out and automatically breathe. That's just this is amazing. And then they have two, two and multiple people living in the same womb at the same time and, and been able to survive and develop. And oh, God is amazing. God is amazing. He really is. Hey, Marcus Heritage. How you doing, baby? How you doing? God bless you. Oh, thank you for Marcus, God. I thank you for my whole student, Marcus. One of the, the respectful ones. Never gave me no problem. <laughs> I know you're blessing his life, Father. I know you're blessing his life, but I ask that you touch him from the top of his head. And all of my loved ones today, Father, please touch us all from the tops of our head to the soles of our feet. Anything not like you, I ask that you remove it. 
I ask that you rebuke any sickness or disease trying to attach itself to us in the name of Jesus and our loved ones, Father. Your word says whatever we ask for in prayer, believe it, we shall receive. I believe healing for me and my loved ones right now. That you're healing our bodies, that you're comforting our hearts, Father. That you're providing all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Hallelujah. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you for providing food for us and clothing and shelter father and clean water thank you god and help us to be a, a blessing to somebody that needs it father this day oh god i thank you for joshua kimbrough another one of my students one of my babies another one of my my high school babies big big boy though joshua big <laughs> I thank you for Joshua's life, God. I thank you for letting him click on my button today, God. I ask that you touch him and bless him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Bless his loved ones, Lord. Oh, I thank you, God. I needed this. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you all for your time today. That's the most precious gift you can give somebody. You can't get it back. And it's priceless. It's priceless. And I thank you for your time as it encourages me and it helps me keep going. It gives my life purpose to do what I do. It gives my life purpose. I am not, I'm by myself, but I have the Lord. But, and I have a lot of love inside of me. And I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm divorced three times. <laughs> been married a total of uh, 32 years but the three different men <laughs> so, so I'm single and uh, I got a lot of love to give so God let me do this and have people receive me that keeps me going that makes my life worth living that gives my life purpose so it's a pleasure for me to pray for y'all and I believe every prayer that I send out I do it from the bottom of my heart as God put this love in my heart and maybe he just wants me to do what he wants me to do for the for the rest of the years that I have and that's fine but y'all pray for my peace to get there because I'm still a woman <laughs> I'm still a woman. I wish I could live in a bubble, man. I wish I could not be around any men. Just be by myself all the time. But it always comes a time when I'm around a oh, man. Like right now, okay? It's guys over there working. Can't help but look, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So uh, she is. <laughs> She noticed everything, yep. <laughs> they talk about Nikita. This car, car just pulled up beside me and said, um, and said, she's so excited. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, but I see, I got protection. I got worshiper on the back of my, on the back of my, um, sweatshirt my friend marion made it fit. well she gave me the sweatshirt and she gave me the letters to, to so i could put something on the back <laughs> i'm making you laugh marcus i'm so glad so so i had um um worshiper on the back so i don't want nobody get it twisted man don't don't come at me any kind of way please it's not gonna happen it, oh, i don't want nobody to come me because oh god it's just life is just so hard <laughs> i'll be so wrong sometimes <laughs> And the Bible says a man's ways seem right in his own eyes. And that's the truth, man. Be thinking you right and be dead wrong. Be thinking, oh, Lord. And don't let nobody, you know, deceive you. And you, you know you try, try to, oh, Lord, life is something else. <laughs> but it's good. Life is good. And I do good. What you say? I'll be safe out here, Marcus. Thanks. Um, I'm almost finished. Get ready. Get off here. Um, um, excuse me. Um, what was I getting ready to say? I don't know. This God is good. And and I just ask for his guidance every day. And he leads me and guides me. And when I start going in the wrong direction, he pulls me right back. He pulled me back real quick. Real quick. I know his voice, and I follow him. The devil, the devil can be deceiving. He's like a ventriloquist. <laughs> I'll be thinking it's God sometimes, and it'd be the devil. 
But then God, God will tell me, no, Allison, no, don't listen. That's not me. That's not me, Al. <laughs> Get back on track. Look at my word. Read my word today. I'll lead you, baby. Keep read the word every day. I won't let you go too far off track. And he doesn't. He protects me, y'all. He does. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord. Thank you. Hey, my juniors. Did I pray for you already, juniors? Let me see. Did I? Am I just seeing you? Let me see. Let me see. Did you just... Did I pray for Junius? God, please bless Junius. I don't remember. Let me see. Let me see. I do got one more lap, God. Yes, God will dispose, expose his lies, Charlotte. Yes, he did. How you doing? Don't you chase that daggone truck. Oh, I'm going to hurt this daggone dog. Oh, Lord Jesus. He does, he does. It's just gotta be quiet. Just gotta be quiet and, and um listen, Ken. I don't have I don't even watch television anymore. And I just listen. Listen for the Lord to speak to me. I listen to positive motivational messages and sermons and, and gospel songs and just just stay around people who are like-minded who are or talk to people who are like-minded who are going in the same direction as me and try to encourage anybody that's not but if they don't want to receive the word <coughs> I wish them well and keep getting up and, and pray for them. that's what we got to do y'all but we got to stay in a positive place a place of love and acceptance and patience with one another that's what we got to do we got to know that everybody's way of man's way seems right in his own eyes. So people, they might do stuff and they, it upsets us. We can't let it, what other people do upset us because people are just doing the best that they can do. You know, we can't, um, we can't control them. And we got to remember that we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. We hurt other people's feelings too. It's not just one, you know, it's not just all about us. Because we all sin and fall short of his glory. We might not, we can hurt somebody's feelings and not even know we hurt it. Hurt their feelings, you know. And, um, yep, 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 yep. Look at her. Anybody want to come on camera with me and say something? <laughs> invite me to, to invite you on the camera with me. I did it yesterday, the other day with Maria. Was that yesterday? I have no sense of, when it comes to days of the week since I'm retired, I never know what day it is. They all run together to me. Um, I think it was yesterday. And the days be long, too, because I stay, keep myself busy all day long. Not just busy, productive. I do stuff, do what God laid me to do. And I do do stuff all day long. The Holy Spirit will tell us. Yes, he will, Charlotte. Yes, sister. Thank you. Thank you for, for agreeing with me, Charlotte. It encourages me. It does. I'm not just, just talking out the side of my neck. <laughs> that was just a funniest expression talking out the side of your neck i'm like what the first time i heard that when i was a teenager he talking out the side of his neck i'm like huh what that doesn't even make sense <laughs> i take stuff so literally excuse me what if i got out of here oh two oh thank you lord i praise you i magnify you i lift you up thanks for staying with me y'all What'd you say, Junius, after? No. Oh, you came after. God, I thank you for Junius. You got to work tonight, Junius. God, I thank you for keeping Junius. Thank you for keeping him safe, God. I thank you for 
wrapping your loving arms around him and protecting him and sending his guardian angels, especially when he's on his job, God. Please protect him from any accidents, Father, in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against him shall prosper, God. Thank you for strengthening his mind. Thank you for strengthening all of our minds this day, Father. Help us to keep our minds stayed on you so that you can keep us in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Peace that no matter what happens, we can go on because God God is with us. Hallelujah. We can go on. And where there's life, there's hope. No matter where, how things look, they can always get better if you believe. So God, I ask that you help out disbelief this day, Father. Help out disbelief. Take all fear, doubt, and disbelief away in the name of Jesus that your word is not true. Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so you do work tonight, Junius, yeah. Keep them safe, Father. Keep them safe. Safe. Hallelujah. I'm coming round. And them got about, about 400 yards to go, and I'll be finished. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Oh, it's getting chilly. It's getting chilly. Oh. You, you exercising today, Junius? You know I was going to ask you. <laughs> you know I was going to ask you. You should have just said, Miss Hall, I'm going to exercise today. <laughs> sure am. I know that's right. That's my baby. Good job, Junius. Don't you be fooling me now. You better. <laughs> Don't you be fooling me, Junius. <laughs> I know you're a man of integrity. You ain't gonna fool me. You're gonna get your work out in the day. Thank you, Lord. I praise you. I magnify you. As God gave us health and strength, as long as we can move our bodies, we might as well go ahead and move them, y'all. Thank you. Some people can't get up. Some people wish they could get up out the bed, and they can't. Some people wish they could get walk across the floor, wish they could go for a walk, wish they could go for a run, and they can't. So we got to do it for the people that can't, y'all. We got to use what we got. We got to use what we got. And it'll just bless us. It'll bless our bodies. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, which we have of God. We are not our own. And what we do in our bodies honors Him. So let's do good stuff, y'all. Let's do good stuff today. All right. No pain of that. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for blessing Charlotte. Thank you, God. I'm praying, so, praying for you, girl. Thank you, Jesus. God answers prayers. No pain today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know these people looking at me. But I don't care. He is worthy. He answers prayers. He answers our prayers. Hey, Tori. How you doing? It's good to see you. God bless you. You're looking good, boy. God bless you. Thanks. That's my neighbor. I remember he was a little boy. He's much younger than me. He was so cute as a little boy. He didn't grown up to be a nice looking man. <laughs> he washing his car looking good. He got some muscles and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See what I mean, y'all? I'm a woman. I'm definitely a woman. And I love the human body. I love, I'm a dancer. I'm real in tune with my body. I love, I love God's creation, man. I love, I love our bodies i think our bodies are beautiful i think god just was just showing off when he created us and and um you know and i'm not like wasn't lusting after him or nothing but i admire my physiques <laughs> excuse me and we come in all different shapes and sizes god gave us a variety <laughs> somebody they say do y'all believe in somebody for everybody <laughs> you gonna do some exercises charlotte thank you yay yay i'm proud of you <laughs> thank you 
Oh Lord, I know God's like, hurry up and get to the house, girl. <laughs> but he, he, he's a good God. He's a good God. I did it, y'all. I did it. Thank you so much for keeping my company today. Lifted my spirits up, y'all. This is a two-way street. I be trying to, you can't beat God giving. I be trying to lift up people, encouraging people, and I, be, and I end up being encouraged because my heart was real heavy when I came on this morning. And y'all done brought my spirits up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some people do want to be married. You do, Charlotte, me too. <laughs> but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared now, daggone it. I'm scared because I be wrong. I be wrong. And people be deceiving me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just, I asked God, I was in the shower, right? I was like, God. Do you want me to be married or do you want me to be single? Whatever you want for me, that's what I'll do. So just can you just tell me? You know I hear your voice. You talk to me all the time. Can you please tell me what do you want me to do? You want me to be by myself or you want me to be married? Oh. <laughs> Because I'll go with the flow, whatever. I know how to, I take care of all of my needs. God, God, God showed me how to handle all of my symptoms of bipolar one and everything that I need, I have, you know. So, <sighs> I keep it real, y'all. I keep it real. I keep it real. And you know why I keep it real? Because we, because God hears everything, okay? And I guess a couple years ago, it was a couple years ago when I used to smoke cigarettes and, and I, was, I wouldn't let anybody see me smoke. I would hide it. And God said, oh, so you care if they see you smoking, but you don't care if I see you polluting your temple. Okay, gotcha. I was like, oh, wow. So now I don't care what people think. If, 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 if it gets by God, if it goes through God, then anybody else can hear. I don't care what nobody else thinks but God, you know. I mean, I care about people, and I do value people's opinions, but I just walk in truth. I'm just truth. I'm just honest, you know. And if I'm wrong, and somebody show me in the word I'm wrong, Yes, I will. I repent. If you can show me in your word, in, my, in his word, I'm wrong. I submit. I submit to God in his word. I do. But, um, yeah, that's why I'm just so off the chain. I just say anything. Because <laughs> God, God knows our thoughts. He knows our thoughts before we say it. So I can't hide anything from him. So why should I try to hide from everybody else? You know? All right, I'm going to go. Thanks, Charlotte. I love y'all. I can't wait to go back and read all these messages. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. What time is it? Oh, shoot. I got 10 minutes. See, he gave me just enough time to get there to Mount Hope. I got to only take 10 minutes to get there to go get blood. All right. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Bye.